the American South, including Florida, has a heinous racist past. Tales of African babies used as alligator bait in North and Central Florida are spreading throughout the world today. It wasn't a common practice, but it did happen. There are accounts of this atrocity taking place. A book by Sharon Drapper called Copper Sun talks about alligator baiting. The term alligator bait was used in Harlem, referring to African-American children from Florida. Time Magazine in 1923 reported this practice in a town called Chipley, Florida. A blog from Ferris State University implies the practice continued into the 20th century. You can also see artifacts at the Jim Crow Museum, also at Ferris State University in Michigan. The stories were passed down from slave generation to their free offspring. It was told that the babies of the slaves, some infants and some toddlers, were stolen, taken down to the swamp, and left in pens like little chicken coops. They would skin them, tie them up, put a rope around their neck and their torso, and tie it very tight. They would then throw the tied infant or toddler into the water, and the 700-pound alligator would be on them in minutes. It didn't take long till all you would see is nothing but rope. The question is, why would someone do this? And what is to gain from such a heinous act? White prophets seeking hunters used the alligator bait to lower the alligators to harvest their skin. And countless things were made using alligator skin from shoes to belts. It is hard to process this with today's sensibilities and social justice. What could lead to the practice of taking a live human baby and use it for alligator bait? The artifacts in the Jim Crow Museum tell the story and it is so important to listen. It is important to listen to how a generation of Americans can treat others with such subhuman contempt to the point where you take their offspring and use it for bait for shoes and belts. These people were not savages or worthless creatures.